Hey guys, no episode of Strip Search this time around. Well, because it is October 5th, 2011 at 9.12pm, uh, and by now you've all probably heard about the death of Apple's CEO and founder Steve Jobs. I suppose part of me isn't really surprised because, I mean, we all know that his health was questionable to say the least these past few years. I mean, with his bout of cancer and um, his liver transplant and all that stuff. Still, that doesn't make it any less heartbreaking. After all, Steve Jobs basically invented the future. I mean, he went from a from his parents' garage working on a like a mess of circuit boards in a wooden box to becoming CEO of a company that basically yeah, like I said, he practically invented the future. But, I mean... I'm sorry. This is real, real hard for me. And... Because, well, I basically wear my heart on my sleeve. And, well... And it, it and it always like disheartens me when someone dies, especially when someone who was very important uh, I mean God. I'm sorry. This I know I said that I that it wasn't surprising, but like I said, it's not it doesn't make it le easier to deal with. I mean, look at all that he's accomplished. He's basically a visionary. I don't know what other word to describe him. I mean, I, I mean, despite whether you're, I mean, I'm not going to get into the whole PC versus Mac debate that that's from for i mean i'm not going to pledge allegiance to one camp or the other I, you can't deny that steve jobs had a substantial impact on our on our lives basically one in every two households has a mac or an iPod or an iPad. Heck, the your the video that you're watching right now is recording on a MacBook Pro. So there's my secret. But I wonder what this means for Apple. I've been online and some people were saying how, well, this will be the end of Apple. Apple cannot survive without Steve Jobs. I would have to disagree. I mean, to... I mean, not to say that Steve Jobs wasn't important to Apple. Obviously, he was. After all, he founded the company. But I think Apple has gotten strong enough that they can move forward even if their basically their leader will not even if their leader is not with them as i said earlier this is real hard i mean 
I mean, I have lost people before, and even and even now, it's not really that easy to lose someone. Um, I remember when my grandfather died back in the early nineties. I mean, I was I was very little. I was like a kid. And and I probably went through all stages of grief in like two seconds flat. It, I was just a whirlwind of emotions. And to think, if it chokes me up to, to see when, a, a, well, I guess he's a celebrity. Somebody like Steve Jobs passes away. Just imagine how my reaction is to a family member. So, I just think that no matter what you may feel, whether you're Mac or PC, you have to respect Steve Jobs for his history. I mean, he went from being a virtual, forgive the pun, from a nobody to a household name. I mean, obviously it wasn't easy. I mean, he was basically kicked out of uh, Apple in the 80s and formed his own company only to have it absorbed into Apple, then became CEO again. Uh, well, I, I'm sure there's someone out there who's more knowledgeable about it than I am. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to make this recording to extend my heartfelt condolences to his family and to Apple. He... I'm sure he was a, an incredible individual, a, a smart man, and one of the few who could actually make geekery cool. So, Steve Jobs, I just wanted to say so long. I fear that the world will never get another man as innovative or as futuristic as you. And for that, I tip my hat to you. Well, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'll try to do more video things in the future and until then folks take care